There you are, short stuff. Didn't think you'd actually show up. <laughs> oh, I don't think you're a coward or anything. It just didn't seem like you're a fan of breaking the rules is all. Then again, we're not about to do anything illegal. We're just breaking and entering to steal our stuff back. So really, it's not that big of a deal. Of course I still need your help. Even if it's not a big deal. Do you think I'll just run into Tyler's cabin without any planning? Hell no! This needs to be thought out. I don't want to get caught. Not by Tyler. Not by a squad. And especially not by the teachers. Rez, you know you're not supposed to be in here. That's five years of detention. Ugh. So that's why I need you. Here's my plan. I stand watch by the door. You sneak into the cabin and grab your backpack. I'll let you know if someone's coming. Yes, you. Do you really think I'll do all the hard work by myself? I already came up with the plan, and I made sure to set up a distraction. One of the kids from PE still owes me a favor, so they'll make sure that those idiots don't come back here for another couple minutes. Speaking of which, we should probably get going. I don't know how much time we got. Oh, come on, nerd. It'll be fine. Trust me. They didn't even lock the door. See? So really, they were asking for this. Now, get in there, shorty. And make sure my earbud still in your bag. Do you find anything yet? Nah, you're still good. I'd hurry if I were you, though. Oh, hell yeah! Did you get it? Hey, what are you doing? Isn't that your backpack? What are you still looking for? Ah, shit! I think someone's coming. Come on, we gotta go! There's no time to keep searching. We gotta go! Come on, shorty! Over here, we get out around this corner. <sighs> okay, here, tuck down. They can't see us through the bushes. Let's just wait until they're inside. <sighs> I don't want it to celebrate too soon, but guess what? We did it. I'd high five you, but that'd be way too noisy. Sure, a very soft one could work. High five. Nice one. Do you have my earbud? Ah, good. Thanks. But, may I ask what were you looking for earlier? Did they take anything else? Oh. I'm sorry that take a bell. I didn't know your sketchbook was in your bag as well. Are you sure it's not in there? <sighs> I'm sorry. That sucks. I can only guess how many hours you must have put into that thing. Tell you what. I'll try to come up with a way to get it back, alright? I don't really know how, though. If Tyler has it, he'll probably not just leave it out in the open. Especially once he finds out the backpack is missing. Speaking of which... We should probably get going before they know us. I think it's clear. Just be sure, though. Let's go this way. So they won't see us. We'll circle back once we're a good bit away. Relax. Got a pretty good sense of direction, you know? I can find my way back no problem. And if you'd like to as well, I suggest you keep up with me. Unless your tiny little legs are tired and you need me to carry you. Ow! Jesus! Stop hitting me already, will ya? I'd like to put some distance between us and the cabin before Tyler comes around. He's already had enough of a chance to hurt you yesterday. There's no need for him to beat us up. Or, hmm, try to, I guess. I can handle him, no doubts there. Shit, I might even enjoy it a little. <laughs> nah, sure stuff, don't worry. I'll stay out of trouble. Even though I'd love to teach those guys a lesson. <sighs> Oh, 
Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Ask her right now, of all times. Should we just turn back? I don't feel like getting sucked. But then Tyler might see us. <sighs> Fuck it. No choice but to power through, right? Let's go, Shorty. What are you doing? I don't think now's the time for you to look for your sketchbook again. We can deal with that later, okay? Huh? Oh, you have an umbrella. By God, short stack, you're amazing. Come on, open it up. Okay, that's better. <laughs> you look so funny holding up so far. It's kind of cute. Here, I'll hold it. No need to strain yourself. Besides, I don't want you to poke my eyes out with this thing. You're still out in the rain, silly. Come on, come a little bit closer. Your umbrella isn't exactly the biggest. Aww, you're turning all red. What, never been this close to a guy like me before? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Jeez, stay here, why don't you? I mean, come on, would you rather get wet than walk next to me? Right, thought so. You know, I thought about what we should do now that we've got our stuff back. Like, obviously they'll notice it's missing and assume you took it back. So I don't think it'd help to hide your backpack anywhere. But I definitely think you should try and stay away from Tyler's group for at least the duration of this trip. That'd probably be for the best. Hey, why are you back there? Oh. Sorry, short stuff. I didn't realize I was walking so fast. <laughs> Here, um, hold on to my sleeve if you like. That should slow me down a bit. Yeah, sorry again. You're kind of soaked. What is it with you and getting your clothes wet when we hang out? Huh? But, as I was saying earlier, stay away from Tyler. And if he bothers you, come straight to me, okay? He wouldn't dare piss me off again. At least not without using it to his advantage. Best he could do is shoot narrow from far away and run like a coward. Hey, of course I'll still help you. What do you think, I stuck around just to get my shit back? We already spent so much time sitting next to each other in class. We may as well at least get to know each other, right? Besides, an enemy of Tyler is a friend of mine. I don't know if you heard about this already, but Tyler's the reason I have to avoid even the slightest amount of trouble now think I ever used to be friends with that guy. Ugh, crazy how fast people can change. Hmm? Oh, yeah, sorry, you wouldn't know this. Him and I were really close in middle school. I'm not almost every day until he suddenly changed his mind about me. I'm not really sure what happened, but by the time high school came around, we barely spoke anymore. He was too caught up licking the popular kid's boots and chatting up any girl who'd give him the time of day. Eh, don't be sorry, Tinkerbell. I wouldn't want to be friends with him anymore anyway. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's never been a saint, and neither am I. But the way he's been treating people recently... has been absolutely fucking disgusting. No thanks. He's been acting out for a long time now, but I usually try to ignore it. Better not to get involved if it doesn't concern me, right? But about two weeks ago... I overheard his boys talking about how Tyler is going to pull a prank on someone who I'd rather seem unharmed. So, I found him. I tried to talk to him about it. Long story short, we got into a fight. I won. Obviously. Tyler's daddy caught wind of it and wasn't too happy. I fucked up his little angel's face. So, he threatened to call the cops and now I have to be a real careful who I decide to mess with. I just hope today won't be the day I get accused of some bullshit again. The one time I actually do a good thing. Oh no, Tinkerbell, you're not gonna take blame for this. It'll be fine. There's no way I let you claim my plan is your idea. <laughs> nah, but for real. I don't know what consequences there'd be if the teachers found out you broke into a cabin. 
Just let this be my problem. As long as Tyler doesn't catch me by surprise and can't make it seem like I beat him up again, we'll both be fine. How will they prove to the teachers we were in there? They're not gonna tell them they took your bag in the first place and nothing else is missing. We'll be fine. Ugh. I just wish the floor wasn't so goddamn muddy. And I think the rain was heavy enough to turn all fours into one big swamp. It'll take forever to clean these damn shoes. Oh, jeez. I got you, Tickerbell. No worries. Ugh. What was with you? He was almost falling, huh? You get such weak knees around me? <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't push me. I'm not trying to fall either. If I get all muddy, I'll make sure you'll need a change of clothes as well. For real, though, you're clumsy. It's almost a little sweet. I'll be honest with you. I didn't think this path would be so steep. And with all this goo, I don't know if we'll make it up there unscathed. Yeah, you're right. It'd probably be best just to wait it out. Tell you what. Let's stay where we are for a little while. If the race hasn't stopped in five minutes, we'll turn back around. Sound good? Alright. So long as there's no thunder, we should be good. Come stop a bit closer, Shorty. We're wet enough as it is. There's no need to get rained on even more. It took you how far you have to lift your head up to look at me. What? Nothing to say. No snarky comment. Not even trying to hit me. Ah! Ouch! Shouldn't have pointed that out. Got it. What? You still hung up on that? You know, I kind of had to make you go in. I didn't even know what your bat looked like. Though, I probably could have guessed, now that I see it. It does look like it belongs to a nerd. <laughs> Whatever. You got the more entertaining part of the job. I just had to wait for you to get done. So really, you should be taking me. In fact, I think I'd like a reward. I did warn you at just the right time, didn't I? I also came up with a plan. And I made sure we were hidden. Come on, Tinkerbell. Not even a little one. Oh, um, I was thinking more something like this. <laughs> you know, I can get used to this. <laughs>